Hello everyone, my name is Jessica Savona. I'm a sophomore and an LSU gymnast. Um, so I decided to put together a video for our seniors because this is the last year and they're graduating and after such an amazing year that we've had, um, I just want to remind them of all the good times we had and how much they actually meant to the team. So enjoy everybody and to all of our seniors, I love you so much and I'm not such an RTE person so I guess this is the closest thing that I could get to showing you how I feel. So on behalf of myself and your former LSU teammates, I uh, just want to say we love you and enjoy. So we talked all night about the rest of our lives Where we're gonna be when we turn 25 I keep thinking times will never change Keep on thinking things will always be the same But when we leave this year we won't be coming back No more hanging out cause we're on a different track And if you got something that you need to say You better say it right now cause you don't have another day Cause we're moving on and we can't slow down College, honestly. Yeah, basically. if it weren't for you, I probably wouldn't be in my second biology <laughs> class right now, so um, thanks for that. For all of your smart brains and volunteering your time to help us, Do encouraging so us, <laughs> and you help us in really, every really aspect appreciate of life. It, yeah. You've given us so much insight about being freshmen and yeah. what to do and what not to do. So just thank you for that. Thank you, thank you so much. Great. I know you're going to do great things in the future, like your cancer. In your medical school. So proud and I'm proud to say that I know you. When I think about Lainey and her team, I think about her dance. She knows this, and I think everyone knows how funny she is when she dances. She has the most awesome moves. She'll just break them out at the most random times. And I really love that about her. Lainey will be like superwoman. She is now going to medical school and she balanced being on a gymnastic team. Anybody that can be an athletic, be a part of an athletic department here at LSU and excel in the classroom, that's a super woman in my eyes. Usually she doesn't talk a lot. She doesn't have like a uh, voice on the team, but she really is someone <laughs> See, you would make me feel good about this picture because you always make me feel great whenever you take pictures of me. Oh yes, model. <laughs> um, you're so sweet, like you always, you're so kind, you have such a huge heart and you care about each and every one of us so much and you make us feel so special. You're always so encouraging, so supportive, so supportive and I love hearing you cheer for me. I can be warming up on a line for Beam and you can just say, oh like good job Cindy and that just like means so much. I always so feel positive, like you're so positive, like the best energy. Yeah, you bring like the best vibes around. It makes you feel so good about yourself. <laughs> and I don't think I know another person who makes me feel as good about myself. Um, like the way they are always there. 
press in and use the medicine is definitely an amazing and there's nothing like as important she might not say much words, but she is someone that is a leader by her actions. I mean, no matter what, whether it is doing bars after we're all tired, or whether it is killing it in the academic classroom, she, to me, that's somebody to look up to. Because in the work work world, sometimes you don't have to say much. Just do your actions and you will excel. I love Mac. Yeah. I love her so much, Mac. Cheering, and I love sitting next to you during like floor routines at meets because you always look at me and you're just like, she's got this, she's got this. And it's just so comforting and you have the right attitude that we need. Show us what a true senior is supposed to act like. And it's that kind of positive reinforcement that our team needs and I think that learning that is special and I'm going to carry it on for the next four years and teach it to other people. But I mean, it's definitely not going to be the same. It's a great sense of like. We love you, Mac. Love you so much, Mac. Mwah. But behind closed doors, that girl can talk and have a good time and make me laugh. And she is outgoing because I really love her. And I think that she really shows like her personality when she's like off the gym floor. But is um. That girl can get down. Casey can really like twerk. <laughs> and she. Yeah. <laughs> Casey can nice work. Trick. She knows how to trick. She's break dancing, all kinds of stuff. Like badass. She's just, yeah, she's a real badass. Oh no. She's such a hard worker, like inside the gym and outside the gym. Like she's an inspiration to all, actually. Yes. She's Very just true. such an ideal person. Very true. Mm -hmm. Really hard that. worker. Uh, I think about how hard you work all the time and how encouraging you are. Like, you can always hear you cheering for us. And it's really nice and supportive. We love you. Yeah. Hey, Casey, we just want you to know how much we love you and how much your hard work and dedication really is admirable. And you've impacted this team in ways that you, like, might not even realize, but you're so special to all of us. Mean, oh, your turn. You just mean so much to each and every one of us, and we just want you to know that you really do make a big part of this team. Without you, we'd probably all be cats and not tigers. So we need you, and we've needed you every step of the way. We love you, Casey. We care love about you. you. Love you. What's one thing you're going to miss most about, about our senior class? I'm not really going to miss them. <laughs> and I'm not going to talk about it right now. It's very emotional for me. I'm going to ride. I'm going to ride. for sure. I just love how Kaylee's been literally like a sister to me and I've roomed with her the past two years in uh, competition and I think she's really been a huge part of my career here. I think she's a great role model to look up to for everybody. The way she leads and the way she like, goes about things. I love how I can text her whenever I want and it's like she's my best friend and my sister. Um, uh, what else? Uh, I'm just gonna miss your presence so much. You're always like laughing and like you cheer so much and you just make it a point to like talk to each and every one of us every day. Just like, I don't know. It keeps us going. You're such like a great leader. We yes, just yes. look up to you. Um, I always just think about your funny jokes and like you can always bring a smile to our, my face and like your constant encouragement and your just belief in all of us and the belief in this team is so special and important. Simon! <laughs> Inspirational speeches. Yeah, yeah. they no, always touch the heart. She's right such here. a leader, and like I feel like we're really blessed to have had her on the team because she always like takes control of things. One time I was, I was setting the board for ball, and I just looked down the runway. Both kind of gave each other this look. Yeah, you know, just like you knew that that look was magical. You know, 
I just felt a lot of magic just from the eye contact. Um, I never told Robbie this, but, uh, so don't take it too wholeheartedly. But yeah, that, that, that's it. That's my best memory. I think it's funny that I can relate Malia to like every emoji. It's true, Why? especially the cat one. I would like oh, yeah. to superimpose her face into an emoji, and I think I might just do that. So on her 22nd birthday, we had like just got, got very to school. Emotional. We just got to school here, and um, she got really emotional and started crying. She sat and on the curb. She sat on the curb and she was crying. She said, "I just want to be a great senior to y'all." And we're here to tell you that you've been such an awesome. Senior. And you have exceeded all your own expectations of yourself. Gymnastics-wise, I always think of whenever we're on vault together, because you always make it really funny and fun, and we just talk about the stupidest stuff. <laughs> That we share the same interest in our addiction to coffee. Coming with her this year because it's been a lot of fun in the room and we go kind of crazy. She just always brightens the mood with that laugh. I know we always bash it, but we're definitely gonna miss it for sure. So take the photographs and still friends in your mind. I got the dribble drops. Something so <laughs> I'm in that chest mode, just taking Take the wings. <laughs> You're always so happy and so helpful, no matter what it is, even like the stupidest things we ask you. You always make us laugh by your like perverted jokes. Yeah, you taught us <laughs> a great dance move. And I'm never going to forget that. Yeah, that's for sure. Mm. It's always my mm. favorite. <laughs> We're thankful for you. Uh, you do a lot of really good things for us, and um, we're definitely going to miss you. And um, it's just not going to be the same without you. Your videos, they're always so oh, inspirational. Oh, yeah. Those definitely have a huge impact on our season this year because it always hits the nail on the head. If Robin was a superhero, Robin, because I kind of picture myself as Batman. Robbie's kind of like mini me. He thinks that he hasn't changed since I've been here, but um, we all know that he has. All for the better, obviously, because it's becoming me in uh, all the right ways. Casey, you have been the academic rock. I remember your freshman year when you were scared to death of everything and wouldn't talk to anybody. You have continued to work hard and continue to do everything you can to make this team better, but also to make yourself better. And for that, I really want to applaud you. Lainey, I think the contribution that you have made this year being everybody's biology tutor is commendable, and I want to thank you very much for that, that contribution. I know the kids that you've worked with really appreciate it. But I can remember what a goofball you were your freshman year. You fell and had a concussion because you fell onto the twisting belt. And I'm not sure if the twisting belt was part of what you were doing or not, but that was really kind of a uh, maj-paj of a mess. 
but um, congratulations, you recovered from that. I can still remember you doing bars at regionals when we were in Washington. Um, you hit a beautiful set and did a great job, and that was part of the of the combination of things that happened very positive in that meet that allowed us to, to qualify, with, with which was a very, very young team. But um, that was a great trip, and I think from then, things have just gotten better and better and better, and uh, I think LSU is a better place because you've been here. Uh, Malia, Malia, uh, you have been such a delight to watch you mature and get older, and now you actually have... A, a vocal opinion about things and you're not this little quiet mouse that kind of stands out in the corner um, but the contributions that you have made to this team um, as, as a friend to everybody and as such a, a gentle little spirit I just uh, want you to stay very close to the program and, and stay very close to me because I think you're I think you're funny and I really like being around you but personally I'm, I'm kind of happy that we decided that you weren't going to do beans anymore because that double back stand landing was about to drive me crazy however um, your floor has gotten better and better and better I just want to say you have been that person this year that's been ready to go in and willing to go in no matter what and for that I love you and the team loves you and we all appreciate you Sari Morrison how about you? My all-arounder, my rock all-arounder. Here's another person that doesn't do beam, and that's okay with me because I know how much that, that routine hurt your feet. Everything you did, you were pounding two feet. Um, I, just, I really think that that's kind of where all the ankle problems started. But um, I think the event that you're not doing that I miss the most is floor because your smile and you just radiated how much you loved performing. And so I miss that for you. However, let's make, make up for that because you've done a tremendous job on vaulting and bars and have more than made up for not being in the all-around by being a, a consistent 9-9 nine, nine plus person on those two events. Ellie Dixon, it's taken us five years to get four years. Um, academic All-American, um, all-around All-American. You know, there's not a lot of all-around All-Americans, and, and you've done that, uh, what, two times in your career, and I think that's, that's just commendable. But to, to come in at the, as a fifth-year person and, and to put up with me pushing and me shoving and, and me trying to get 100, 110% out of you every time, and I know that your foot hurts, and, and I know all of that, but I feel like if I don't push you and shove you a little bit, you might, like, kind of crawl back into that little um, soft Kaylee hole, that little place where Kaylee lives that, that's like wonderful. I just want to say how much I appreciate your, your outspokenness and your, your team spirit and how much you have given to this university. Um, Laney, when she, when she misses her Jaeger, she usually misses it pretty epically because of this, the length of her body. That's a, that's a lot of body coming down. Um, and that's happened a couple of times, or when she pings off after catching one and her legs fold up and she looks like she's going to break in two. Mac is so quiet. And she has a wit about her that uh, that's deceptive. She doesn't say a whole lot, but when she does, it's usually pretty funny. And, um, and I enjoy her sense of humor. I'm not sure she ever quite understood my sense of humor, but, um, but I enjoy Mac's sense of humor and her wit. And, and more than anything, um, she's probably the most... One of the nicest, most supportive people I've ever been around in my entire life. She, the first thing out of her mouth was to tell me how mental she was on bars. Or, and yet, in the last two years, she's been a contributor on all four events, of course, very, very regularly. So I'm going to say that Kaylee is the most improved and, and, um, and probably one of the most consistent gymnasts that, uh, that I've ever been around. Um, but there's a consistency of mind about Casey that, that's very enviable and something that I think um, all gymnasts should strive to emulate because um, she, um, she she doesn't get way up, she doesn't get way down. Um, you don't see a lot of expression of emotion, um, either positively or negatively. She just is Casey and she just does her thing. And I think that, uh, that that's very admirable and can serve her well, serve anybody well in life, not just in gymnastics. That's what I think of when I think of Casey. Um, Malia has an intimidating presence about her because of, of the way she looks. And, um, I wasn't real sure what to make of Malia. Um, she has a, a very sarcastic, awesome sense of humor. She's a very gentle person, doesn't ask for a lot of, of accolades. And, and I thought one of the, one of the coolest stories of, of my entire coaching career was to watch how she handled 
not being in the vault lineup after being in it for the first part of last year, and, and then the situation that occurred where she was able to go in at Nationals was the absolute example of how um, a leader and someone who's mature of mind should handle um, their own adversity. Um, I think the biggest thing for me is just the, um, just the acceptance that, um, that I felt from all of them. You know, at the end of the day, Malia, I can look back on our time together and just say that we've developed a type of bond that uh, that no artist could draw and that no um, scripturist could write. And we, we've developed a bond that that you just can't magnify or measure, that you and I are just, you know, as gymnasts and as friends, you know, we've just, we've just excelled so much. Here's the thing about Lainey is that she thinks she knows a lot about biology, um, but in actuality, I'm a well-studied um, physician, and I feel like that at a lot of points, Lainey gets a lot more um, coverage or a lot more attention because of her studies when I really think I know a considerable amount more than Lainey. Uh, this one time, Lainey tried to explain to me, of all people, that, um, that tuberculosis was, uh, you know, an illness of the liver or whatever. And, uh, and I was like, no, Lainey, that's cirrhosis of the liver. So come to find out, we looked it up on Wikipedia, and it was cirrhosis, and that I was correct the whole way. And um, so I just remember Lainey was just really upset, and she was like, look, Robbie, like, I see to you. Like, you know, I've studied a lot, and I think I've got a 4 and I think I'll cure cancer one day, and that Didi really wants me to cure cancer. However, Robbie, you know a lot more than me, so that'd probably be my best memory of Lainey. And uh, Casey was getting a new floor routine with ACK, and we so... um. You know, just in looking back, you know, I feel like we really contributed to Casey's crip walk um, as she crip walked into a corner before one of her passes. And um, she also did a little booty do before another one of her passes. So um, I just like to say, you know, Casey, you never really thanked me, but um, you're welcome. And I'll just call that a wash. And, uh, you know, no matter what, you know, I love you. And so does Bob. So I'd say Sari would be like Mickey Mouse just because he likes to laugh a lot. And, uh, you know, she... When she starts laughing, <laughs> you're on a roll for a while there. So I, uh, I'd say she laughs a lot like Mickey Mouse. Okay. And in, in just the coolest way possible, by the way. The first thing that comes to mind when I think of Sari Elizabeth Morrison, the third, um, you know, I think about her laugh and uh, and the joy that it brings everyone in the gym, and uh, you know, it's kind of like a Midsummer's Night dream, and uh, you don't want to wake up, you know, and that you just want to stay in the moment. You know, so, um, you know, Sari, keep laughing and keep loving life. You know, keep living life to its fullest. And remember that when the going gets tough, the tough get going. This one's from Mac, uh, Mackenzie Elizabeth Fox, who I know your full name. But uh, one of the other managers, I won't mention his name, but he completely forgot your name. Like within, this was like last week, he completely forgot your name. And uh, so he's like, yo, Rob, like during practice one day, he's like, yo, Rob. Yo, what's your girl's name with the blonde hair and uh, the one going on bars right now? Like, what's her name? And I was like, yo, you don't remember her name? And he's like, nah, man, that's why I'm asking you right now. What's her name? And the whole time, of course, Mac, I knew your name. But um, I told him Phyllis. And he's like, Phyllis, that's it. Like, I forgot. That's Phyllis. So I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, you know, Mac, looking back on it, I probably should have just told him that your full name was Mackenzie Elizabeth Fox Jr. All right, so I don't know if you guys remember this or not, but this was like three years ago at Nationals, I think. And I think Kaylee was actually uh, doing bars. And we're up on the podium, you know, everybody's watching. And uh, we're going through the warm-up. And I think Kaylee goes to get on the low bar to go to the high bar. And, like, her foot slipped or her knee hit the low bar or something. And she just fell over and, bop, like, right on the mat. And just, like, knocked herself out for a second. <laughs> I remember wanting to laugh so hard, but I couldn't because we had to be pretty serious. But I don't know if you guys remember that or not, but that was probably the most memorable wipeout um, of the senior class. I'd say my favorite memory of the uh, seniors as a whole was uh, the Christmas party because, you know, we all have to sing a song. And when it went, when it went up to the, uh, to sing, and they started singing, I was just, I was so amazed. You know, the, the harmonies that were going, you know, it was just like magic. You know, I was so, I was surprised, but I didn't want them to stop, you know. I mean, it was just beautiful. And uh, some of the high notes they were singing, you know, and it was just, it was just magic in the air. And uh, I wish they could just sing one last song for me, you know. But uh, that's definitely my favorite all-time memory of the seniors. Robbie, uh, what am I going to miss most about him? Uh, he's just a... Uh, <laughs> such a 
such an inspiration, you know. I mean, um, I mean, just the work he's taught me and the uh, the skills that I, I needed to, you know, pick up when I came here. I mean, it was just all guided perfectly by him. I, such a great inspiration to young kids who want to grow up to be managers, and uh, he really just leads the way and uh, makes me so happy every time I come in. <coughs> come in the gym, you know, for practice and being here at 6 a.m. for a setup, being with him for about 18 hours that day till midnight at that night. And, uh, it's just such a such a blessing to, to be alongside him. And, uh, <coughs> I'm really going to miss that, you know. What I'm going to do with that Robbie next year, you know, it's going to be upsetting, you know, losing someone like that, but, you know, i got to move on. And the thing we're going to miss most about Robbie is uh, his dances, you know. He's got so many dance moves, and they're just absolutely amazing. And the funniest part is absolutely no gymnasts ever watch him dance. I mean, you know, he shakes his butt all the time, okay? And uh, he does this one thing where he puts his hands on the wall and just starts shaking his butt really quick. It's just, is it tangled on? You know, it's one of those things you just can't stop looking at, you know? And uh, he's just so unique with it. You know, he makes it his own, you know? He's just such an individual person. Hmm, great. Disney character, you said? Mm -hmm. That's the one I'm stuck on right now. Definitely not any princesses. <laughs> Definitely not who it is. I hope you didn't get that on the recording. Okay, <laughs> Casey is mysteriously awesome, okay? <laughs> mysteriously so awesome. I'm convinced that she's silently plotting something in that mind. She has, I'm pretty sure she has the cure of cancer in her mind, just won't say it. She's hiding it from Lainey, probably. <laughs> Definitely <laughs> hiding it from Lainey. She knows Lainey will steal it from her. She does? Break dance. And breakdancing. Oh yeah, she's such a good like breakdancer. Like, Parkour. Oh yeah! She should totally go to the Olympics for parkouring if that exists. <laughs> That's Malia. <laughs> this is bugs. Hey, mine's like this. I'm gonna miss the diva and the princess, She really is. No, she's she's Beyonce. Like, don't say Yance. I don't think we all know that, that. But deep down, she's like a, the new Beyonce. You know what I'm saying? She's flawless. Hashtag flawless. Hashtag flawless. <laughs> 